All right, guys, welcome to episode 36 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly low key. Got John here with me, got Sway here with me. We're back with some more content, man. We appreciate everybody that's been rocking, liking, subscribing, thumbs up, all that good shit. Continue to do that, man. We're back with some more content yeah, today. Yeah. Um, hopefully, you guys like what we got in store, man. Our first live guest, yours truly, Sway, man. <laughs> It's been a How while, bro. It's been a while, yeah. but we finally got you on here, dog. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling? You really gonna ask me that? <laughs> the past few hours. <laughs> it's, it's been like 33 no, episodes. Guys, just so you guys know, we've been waiting for like five hours to start this fucking podcast. So ask him how he's feeling right now. He ain't, ain't really moved. Yeah. <laughs> he's pretty upset, but we'll figure it out, guys. You know how it goes. Nah, for real, man. But yeah, man. Fucking we're excited to actually have you on the show, man. Fucking, yeah, facts. Um, <clears throat> You're one of the fucking opinions I actually respect, man. Like, for real. For real, for real, bro. Smart guy. Super smart guy. Taught me a lot. But yeah, man. We're going to get right into it. What are some of the books that you enjoy reading that have given you some, like, insight just to live your life better? Um, I would say as far as insight, um... Paulo Coelho has got to be like one of the the best authors I would say as far as like learning insight um The Alchemist is like one of his most popular ones has been like really great The um, Alchemist yeah The Alchemist and then I'm reading another one they recommend reading with that one called uh fuck mm. I can't remember right now it's not called <laughs> fuck but uh, <laughs> read. yeah yeah it's a really good read uh so Paulo Coelho has a lot of good books um Alan Watts has a lot of good stuff, too. Mm. Um, I don't know if anyone knows Alan Watts. He's a Western philosopher that teaches Eastern philosophy. Or, mm. you know, he's from Cali. Right. He taught a lot of Eastern philosophy back in the 70s. And he's just absolutely amazing. He's, he's really cool. Um, definitely gained a lot of insight from him back in high school and whatnot. He's got a mm. lot of good books, so you could always check him out on Amazon, whatever. You can always find books there. Right, Hell right. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. I know you read some, some good shit, man. You always got some fucking wisdom. So I just wanted to fucking, you know, pick your brain a little bit. Yeah. And know what books you like to read and shit. But, um, but yeah, man. I know, I've known you for a little bit now, bro. And every time we fucking talk, bro, we just have, like, the dopest conversations and shit. Like, <laughs> we always just talk about, like, life, man, and, and how to go about it and the shit we're trying to do like absolutely that's just what happens when people are like open-minded you know there's no boundaries of like what you're about to say to someone everything just is free flowing you know when you respect someone on that level you know you just have those friends that you get that connection with and there's no limits on what the (laughs) what the fuck you say yeah dude and that's important man and like because we don't always agree either, you know, there's some nah, things we fucking disagree on, but it's just respecting somebody else's mind, you know, yeah, like, absolutely. like everybody has a different opinion and yeah. maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong. Yeah. I don't know why, the, why you think the things you fucking do. Yeah. You know? like, shit, <laughs> I didn't live your life, you know, Fact, who the fuck bro. is to say that I'm fucking right, shit. For real, dude. I may yeah. feel really strongly about it sometimes, but. <laughs> nah, for real. Nah, that's crazy. What do you, what do you, uh, what do you think about, like. Like, I don't know if you guys heard about, like, this Only OnlyFans thing that's going on. I don't know. That's something I wanted to bring up. You know what I mean? Oh, this guy's such a man whore. Dog. Nah. I, <laughs> no, nah, man. Like, no, nah, I have some females ask it's me for it. They, they, they write me in the DM, and they're like, yo, you know, you could pay for my premium, though. And I was like, listen, honey. Premium? Like, yeah, that's what they call it. They call it a premium. First of all, yeah, so that- you you can pay for your own shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, I mean porn is free. <laughs> By the way, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Facts. Pornhub's free. Free. Exactly. Free. Facts. Like, totally free. Like, you right. don't have to pay anything. And right. it's, like, a lot better than whatever yeah, the fuck like, you're doing on your HD quality Snapchat. and shit. These like, girls HD are just quality. trying to come up off a quick buck, but half of them ain't talented. You ain't, you ain't built for it. Wait, wait, wait. But, like, half <laughs> of them are buying houses. You know? I want to know, is this being taxed? Are they being taxed? Like, how does that work? Like Half of them? Definitely not. Yeah, but for real. There's, a, let's there's say, a big just say percentage. a small, select, talented percentile <laughs> is doing very well and making very great money to right. people who just like something that's a little more intimate, even though it's online. Just knowing that, like, 
they made the transaction with the girl and that they talked to her. Right. It's like, like imagine talking to like one of the biggest porn stars on Pornhub and just being like, hey, I'm going to watch your videos. Like, let me pay for your whatever premium. Like so many dudes. Oh my gosh, you wrote back. <laughs> you know? You know? Like they get like a, yeah, great honey or something. And they're like, fuck yeah. <laughs> you know? Nah, like, Jesus. Losing their shit over a message. Fucking so, shooting ropes. So I think, I think that's why that shit's like, that works for some people. But. Yeah. I mean, anything can become a hustle. Like. Yeah, whatever. Do your thing. I, I feel like. But. It's the same thing with anything. Any, any girl can't do it. Every girl can't hey, do it, dog. Hey, like, there's some that, you know. There's talent, there's talent out there, you know. It's just a different type of talent. Yeah, that's true. To that's each their own, but I don't. They might have different talents. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I would never pay for that, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I like how he says it like that. I love how you say it. Like, like on the OnlyFans? Like, that. <laughs> like, that specifically? Yeah, that's I wouldn't. Like, just I'll say pay for pussy, bro. That's, I pay no, for no, 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 no. I mean, like, I'm talking about the OnlyFans. <laughs> Like Jeez. I don't, I just wouldn't do it personally. I, I just feel like porn is free, no. and you know that's just that's just my my thing. But I feel like it's a better version. It's a new generation of like strippers, like the new, like Quarantine. they don't got to leave their house Quarantine type shit. Strippers. Yeah, basically. Quarantine strippers. They had oh drive-through strippers. Miguel sent me a Get video. The fuck out yeah, of I'm, here. yeah, totally, I'm gonna put the, the link. Way, I, I sorry, I just want to throw it out there. That shit, holy. You're fucking still handing the money. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like you, you still money? Like you're still touching? Like, yeah. Then Venmo them that shit, or like put it in a fucking box with like an automatic <laughs> Lysol dispenser every five minutes. You know? It's, it's, like come on. Yeah. That's no. true. Damn. I never thought of it like that. Yeah, I, that's crazy though. It is true. It's like a whole new generation of like sh- like stripping and just. It's a different de- generation of fun. If you really if you really think about it like that, yeah, like, it's weird, know. man. It, it's the the internet age, well, but even with like everything that's going on right now, it's just pushing us even further into that like virtual world and connection with everything. So yeah, I, I mean, like, just about everything we have is going to be virtual. Virtual, yeah. Available, virtual. Now, now Maybe. they're gonna now they're gonna start having fucking uh, virtual fucking holograms of strippers just coming to the house instead. Bro, they have vir- they have holograms of like people that have died. You could go watch Tupac in Vegas. Yeah, it's crazy. Like for real. Yeah. Like just imagine what like rich people have. Oh my like, god. Like stored away, you know. It's yeah. like yeah, yeah, for the public, for like some events. Some fucking company has enough money for like that hologram machine, but like, Bill Gates, bro. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? Bro, me? he could probably clone people. Like, He's, oh, they, they can. Yeah, they, they totally. Can. They can. Yeah. We can. Yeah, you we, didn't know that. We've had that technology. Yeah. What? Yeah, we, we can clone people. We've had that. They yeah. don't do it for ethical reasons. No. Yeah. Just okay. Just picture this. So that's public knowledge that we can clone people. Imagine what isn't public knowledge. Mm-hmm. Bitch, they can grow limbs. Come on. Come on. Bro, they probably have people out here that could, like, fucking fall off limbs. a building and, like, yeah. fix their whole body in, like, ten minutes and, like, just get up and keep walking. That or would shit. be some Wolverine shit. I would love <laughs> to see that. It's like I fucking know, lizards. Bro, like, when it comes to that conspiracy shit, like, that's why I don't like getting into it as much anymore because, like, my mind just wonders, bro. Like, Anything's it, it goes possible, for bro. miles. Like, Anything's yeah, that's possible. what I mean. Like That makes me think about, like, what they can do to like to grow bud what? like you know like chemically grown bud you know how you were I telling mean, me about that rastafarian yeah That's a yeah good topic there was a too. rastafarian guy i was watching and like he was making a lot of sense saying how a lot of the plants nowadays grow way quicker than what they naturally should just because of the chemicals that are used to grow it and like how he only smokes shit that he grows himself you know what i mean because of that or whatever but but yeah, bro, genetics are a motherfucker with anything, man. They could they they're doing that with anything. Like, yeah, they could clone bud, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's not hard to do if you know what you're doing. Right. Yeah. It's fucking. It's really almost scary, kind of the shit floating around on the internet about just like genetically modifying. Because mm. um, obviously, it's not just plants. It's like fish and shit. They're genetically modifying. Right. But like farmers are starting to get like really fucked over because what's happening is. They, you know, they got their organic farm, whatever, they're growing, like, regular fucking corn, and then, you know, next door neighbor, Monsantana, whatever company, you know it is, has their GMO uh, stock, and then 
those seeds float over to his section, his farm, and when they grow on his property and they catch like like those genetics in his possession, they sue him. Mm. It's like, bitch, your shit flew into my yard. So that's that's crazy how the world yeah. works. So you're telling me that you can have a specific genetic and own it, and no no other farmer can have it? Yeah, exactly. So it's putting like smaller smaller businesses out of business completely because like it it starts like replicating on their land, and then if they test it, you know, like if they like suspect like, hey, you're growing our crop, like that's our plant. We genetically modified this in the lab to yield you know more pounds of corn, whatever the fuck it may be ears of corn for <laughs> for a month you know so yeah. like they, they would have you know a right to investigate if they like had some dirt on them or some shit i don't know mm. just, uh, speculating i don't know for sure but right i mean it that, makes sense though that's yeah it's insane. like copyright yeah literally it's like copyright they would just make some shit up to investigate mm. like, test it and then boom fuck you guys i never knew that bro yeah that's 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 how that's how messed up the world is bro that they actually own a specific genetic seed yeah. and they can own it and say, hey, no one else could touch it. Only Purdue, not Purdue, I'm sorry, that's a chicken company. But like, just a, what's a good, what's a good fruit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what that, I'm saying? Do that with chickens. Yeah, you know, we Purdue, do. yeah. How, how do you think we have fucking chihuahuas? Mm. Bro, we fucked, we fucked them up, bro. We fucked yeah. dogs up. We got that from wolves. Like, we, we fuck up a lot of animals. <laughs> like, there's a lot of things we genetically modify. We do it with fish. Ligers, bro. What the fuck, man? Who the <laughs> fuck, man? I was like, dude, you know what we need to do today? Wait, wait. What, Bring what's what's a liger? It's a tiger and a lion. Mix. Yeah, I feel like that poor guy okay. is gonna... It's, it's like the biggest cat in it, the world. It's, it's like the zebra. But it's not normal. No, no, no. It's like what? humans made that. Is a zebra guy? black with white stripes or is Jesus a zebra white fuck, with black stripes? This fucking guy. Sometimes... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I do want to like headbutt you until I pass out. But I, I want to know. I love you though. Is the zebra black with oh white stripes, guys? Let me know in the comments. Is the zebra black with white stripes or is it white with black stripes? Just let me know. All right. Let him know in his personal DM. Jesus right, what's good. a what's a really good book lately that you've been reading? Um. Well, I've been reading. Uh, marijuana horror culture but I've been wanting to read the book I just mentioned earlier um, The Richest Man in Babylon like Richest I re- Man in Babylon? Yeah I want to I want to purchase that just cause it's you know it just teaches you about finances and, and like just how to run your finances and make them work for you make your money work for you and how to just be patient with the business side of whatever right. it is that you're Proper doing. Proper investments. Right. So it, I feel like that's important just for life period. So yeah. that's like something I'm trying to get into. I'm, I'm going to order that. Teaching you how to like set up a system that like kind of takes care of itself as time passes. Type right. Thing. Yeah. It's like a self-sustaining just financial system. you don't system. have to constantly be like thinking about like the investment you made, but you want to like set it up properly like in the beginning and it like grows slowly but exactly low risk right type situation right i mean personally bro i don't think anything is really low risk like it's a risk if it's a risk it's a risk you know what i mean like (laughs) i guess but i mean how do you feel about it you you know about what about that like you don't think about oh i don't fucking know dude i'm too (laughs) <laughs> I'm retarded, bro. I'm so bad he's, at that. He's super ripped right now. I am. Um, um, no, I, I, yeah. made, I made a lot of bad Cash App stock investments. So I was like, on Cash App, I was like, oh, you can fucking buy stocks. Oh, look how fucking easy that is. All right, all right. <laughs> I can do this, you know. All right. I got this. Not, not the fucking chance. So I made the brilliant decision <laughs> of putting all my money at the time into stocks uh like february 10th ish i don't know if you guys know it's like nine days before the stock market crash oh so i was just my. like i fucking got this bro i fucking got this everything's going up everything's going up it hasn't gone down for like 10 fucking years i got this shit <laughs> And one day I woke up and was like, <laughs> negative. <laughs> hey, bro, you owe us a couple That pounds. shit was negative. Jesus, yeah. man. 
Nah. Yeah, you remember no. when I took all my money out, out of Acorns? Yeah, I, invest- yeah, I told you not to. I'm like, bro, just be patient. <laughs> Bitch panic took all his shit out. Yeah, I said, hell nah, bro. My shit shot up, bro. Nah, for real. Yeah, my shit shot my up. My shit started over. Right. <laughs> <laughs> my shit started From over. Zero, bitch. From zero to 80. I'm at 80 now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was at 500. Yeah. You're wild. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Yeah, so but anyways, Acorn's cool. Cash App makes it way too fucking easy to put thousands of dollars into stocks. Mm. Like, it's like two clicks away, and you're like, oh, yeah. But, like, you feel like if you know what you're doing, like, you could... Yeah, if you know what you're doing, but, I mean, it's just, like, all computers fucking running that show, mostly. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know the real statistics, but I think it's, like, 5% of actual people, like, making trades, and the rest is, Whoa. like, computers. Mm. So yeah. it's, like, just, like, bots, like, doing it for people, AIs, pretty much? I guess, yeah. I mean, that's why everything did it all on February 19th. Everything dropped on the 19th. Mm. Everything. Except for, you know, like, everything did, but then, like, shortly after, people, like, the smart people thought about it, and they're like, we're in quarantine. There's a fucking pandemic. We're gonna go in quarantine. Mm-hmm. Everyone's gonna be separated. Everyone's gonna have to work from home. Everyone has to use a video conference now. Zoom is on the rise. Mm. They're like... Yeah, baby. They put all their fucking money in Zoom. Those motherfuckers are rich right now, dude, because that shit mm. shot right the fuck up, like, shortly after. Yeah, there's a lot of companies that are hurting, but there's a lot of companies that are benefiting Amazon, from this shit. Dude, I shouldn't have fucking pulled... This fucking... <laughs> you pulled your I don't know why I thought Amazon wouldn't be doing so great. Amazon's fucking doing dude, better. Dude, Amazon is, like... Everything was, like, the stock market was already, like, kind of overinflated. People were saying, like, it's pretty fucking high right now. And then, Dude, Amazon is the only thing right now. Well, one of the only big companies that's like thriving like, right now. Like dude, they're building a fucking big ass warehouse. Not richest too far from man here. in the world, and probably buy quite a bit more now. Yeah, after things happen because his stock's even higher than what it was. It was right. already crazy fucking high. Yeah, nah, dude. I, it's it's amazing to me how like Warren Buffett is sitting on like 140 billion in cash. Like that's crazy, bro. That, bro, he, you know, he still eats like breakfast for like two bucks and seventy five cents. Like, he he would like every morning, like just whatever change he had in his center console. Like that's what he would use to fucking get <laughs> Dude, McDonald's he's too breakfast. He's smart, bro. He's smart. Like and he drives the same old shitty yeah, car. Yeah, he lives in the same like fucking quarter million dollar house, but he's worth billions. Like he's. I don't see the point. I mean, what do you mean, like, bro? What are you doing with your money? <laughs> Dude, Bruh. his wife is probably pissed. Yo, I respect it's like, the what hustle. What the fuck? I respect, bro. You would never know. It's pissed? Just, I'll yeah. be buying Gucci belts. I'll be buying. <laughs> That's why you'd be fucking broke. <laughs> yeah. Not sitting on 140 nah, million. Nah, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, but he's probably he's probably just leaving it all, leaving it all for his, you know, just his Man. family. Uh, I feel like people just become obsessed with certain things, and he might just be obsessed with like stacking money, like just getting money. Some people become obsessed with it, like they. It's like a hoarding yeah. thing. It's like some people hoard garbage, some people hoard money. Personally, <laughs> like I don't see the fucking point of just like leaving it though. Like it's cool. You don't have to spend it on yourself. Like whatever. I get right. that you want to live like minimally. Like that's cool. But like if you're just gonna fucking have it, just to fucking have it, bro. What's the fucking point? Yeah, like, for real. Buy buy like half a country and then just be like, no, no one can like build there. Right. You know, we, you know like maybe we need like some fucking extra trees or like something protected. Like just buy a national park or something. Dude, bro. with that much money, with I that would much just money, like just do something. With buy it. like come part on, of the man. Amazon that they're trying to fucking come tear on, down. Come on, you know what I mean, like. Man. Yeah, solid. man. There's there's more That's money. True. There's That's more true. money than brain. God damn, bitch. damn. <laughs> <laughs> there's Yo. more money than brains on this earth, in my opinion, bro. Like yeah. honestly, like. Nah, yeah. yeah, that's that's true. You know, I feel like we could, you know, just like how you were saying, save, you know, rainforests and stuff like that. Um, you know, uh, pay yeah. people to pick up, you know, trash on the beach, like you know. People are actually back on the beach again, and there's already more trash than what it was, like, just from that first couple days. People don't know how to take care of anything. Like, it's crazy. This is why we can't have nice things. For, no, for real, like, yeah. people don't know how to take care of shit, <laughs> bro. Like, like, burning, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. Listen, wow. man, I feel like... I really wanted to get into surfing. I was thinking about getting into surfing, you know? But I'm afraid of sharks. Where the fuck... <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> New Smyrna Beach, like where kind of grew up, is like the shark bite capital of the world. 
the world? Pretty, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it Get is. Get the fuck out you, you of here. You guys don't fact check that, but I'm pretty sure it's yeah, a shark guys, bite capital Yeah, guys, let us know in the comments like, if um, it is. Anyways, grew up there. That's crazy. Never gave a fuck. <laughs> he said you're a pussy. It's the shark bite capital of the world. <laughs> so you're telling me you're going to go... Bro, there's it's no like, waves. You have to go far. You have to go past the sand, like the sand so dunes. Few attacks, and you're more likely to get struck by lightning. Yeah, that is true. You're more likely to get into a car accident, and go into the bees, than you are like getting attacked. Far more likely. Yeah. Far. More. It's just one of those things. Like people are afraid of spiders. It's like, what are the chances of that? Or spider? flying. Even fl- yeah. flying statistically is one of those things that's way safer than driving. Yeah. That's just like a fucking block in your head. Honestly, this is so so ridiculous. And being afraid is only gonna make them like animals suss that shit out. Like, you know what? So exactly, I'm not going in the water then, cause they gonna feel my energy. They gonna be like, I smell that shit. Fuck <laughs> this guy up. Damn, how's it go? Do it again, motherfucker. <laughs> nah, nah, man, bro, that's bro. creepy. Animals do know, man. Like, there's yeah. certain animals that are like. They're willing to attack certain people and not others just because it's like they know. Like real this rec- guy's a bitch. Real this recognizes guy might real. <laughs> nah, it's just real recognizes real. <laughs> nah, it's like dogs. You know they could tell negative energy, I all that shit. Yeah, no, I honestly, bro, I tr- I like trust dogs when it comes to that. Like with that, like if intuition? they don't like somebody, yeah. You trust the dog's intuition. Of course. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Sometimes he barks at me when he can't hear my motorcycle pulling up. So. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> one day he's gonna fucking, one day he's gonna fucking attack you. What does he do? Say that again. Some days he doesn't realize like it's me. Cause, you know he like recognizes like the cars if it's a car or bike. Like he can hear like whose motorcycle it is. Right. Like I'll turn that shit off like way down the street. And I don't know if he just can't smell anymore because he's old. But, like, that's what it is. That's what it is. Right. Right. You be yeah. Careful. So I walk up and he's like, "Who the fuck?" Yeah. I'm like, "Bitch, it's me." It's me. Oh. Like Doberman no. Pinchers and Rottweilers have those problems. When they get older, they yeah. lose their scent and then they attack their owners. Like, it's fucked up. But. Yeah. Well, I mean, I drop them pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, bro. Facts. I choke him out. I had a Yorkie for like 17 years. And Holy he, he fuck. yeah, he lost all his teeth. He lost, I think you met him when we first started hanging what out. Goofy. Remember Goofy? Oh, yeah. Damn. You remember he was losing all his teeth. He lost his balls. I think it was Fuck you see the problem with crossbreeding animals like a hundred fucking times? Yeah, for real. That shit's not they natural. They have a bunch of fucking problems. Hip problems and all kinds yep. of shit. Pit bulls have hip problems that's, and respiratory problems. That's like so unnatural. Facts. <laughs> it's, it's just so no, no, dog. Like honestly, like you're like Remy, bro. His French bulldog is one of those dogs that when you look at it, you're like, dude, you look like an alien. Like, you don't look normal. Like, you look like an alien. Like, <laughs> for real, you, don't, you look like you don't belong on, on this, this earth. Yeah. Like, for real. Remy, Remy, you could tell he's he's crossbreeded for real. Like, I mean, those dogs have been bred for thousands of years to look like that. That's like if you bred, like, a human with, like, a really smart monkey and then just kept breeding <laughs> another human with, like, the offspring of that. Right. That shit. And then, like, after, like, a hundred times... You would get something that's like almost a fucking human, but like something seriously <laughs> fucked up with that person. God. <laughs> what the fuck? No, for real. You know bro. what I mean? After Facts. all that fucking crossbreeding and crossbreeding. Yeah, that's why people wonder why like some puppies come out fucked up or like, dude, holy <laughs> shit. Like, I saw, I saw a video like on Facebook of, of like a, a fucking <laughs> Bambi. I don't know what the fuck it was. A what? A fucking Bambi, like an elk. A baby what do you call those things? Deer? With the deer? Uh, no, nah, they're like in Africa. You know the ones that jump. Oh, you know, a gazelle. Antelope. The gazelle. Yes, a gazelle. I saw a gazelle and it <laughs> it literally got so scared that it fucking it turned around. It saw a jaguar, and it came out and it just pooped out the whole fucking baby. Like the baby, like he just Get gave birth and fuck. ran and left it. It just said. I'm going to put the link in the description, but it just left it. It just left it there. Get you know the what You know what the Jaguar did? Picked it up, cleaned it off, and kept it as its own. It didn't even eat it. That's crazy to me. Aww. That's awesome. Nah, like, you can tell. Nice and fat. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all <Yes>. right. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Delicious steak later. <laughs> nah, nah, but it, it actually grew up, and I don't know what happened to it, but... Maybe it did eat it. I don't know. But I thought it was pretty cool that, you know, animal nature, it kind of... 
Yeah, there's been you a know. bunch of cases of like animals doing shit like that. Like real recognizes real facts. That's like, true. Fucking cats like, taking you know care of like ducks and shit. Yo, mama like, what got the fuck? so scared. She I've seen that. Shit you out right in front of me. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of you, my precious. <laughs> I'm your mama now. <laughs> I'm your. I'm be your mama now. I was finna eat your mama, but nah, bro. It must be super scary. Like, imagine living in the times where, like, you're just in the middle of the fucking Sahara. Saber tooth, like, goddamn fucking tigers. Yeah, like mammoths running around and bro, fucking their teeth are like swords, bro. Bro, fuck that. You I'm not fucking with no saber tooth. Imagine bro. going to the dentist back in the day. There like no dentist. Like, like, oh, exactly my point. Imagine, Somebody's like, like, room, like, dog, <laughs> like they're fucking... ripping it out. They're fucking no medication. Well, you had like. You know, good rum. Good rum, bro. This is bro. That's trash. Cause I have a cavity coming in right now, and I'm like <laughs> totally fucking plastered, getting your teeth pulled. Fuck. I mean, fucking, nah. You, you can do a drug. You can see straight. You can do a drug. Yeah. yeah it's like, that, you pull the wrong you can do one. Do it yourself. <laughs> like, fuck Put a up. string against the bumper and just drive off. Oh fuck that. Man. You know, tie it against my teeth. Nah, bro. I'm not gonna, I lost all my teeth like regular like they just fell out like mm. yeah yeah mine too mm. yeah, I bled a lot though I feel like my mom always made some you're bullshit. a bleeder yeah I'm a and bleeder it would come out in like the soup and be like the fucking rock in the soup the fuck is this <laughs> what the fuck, the fuck? <laughs> just came out the fuck is this bullshit did you get money from the tooth fairy or uh, ever my dog what? said he didn't get an allowance he was allowed to live there <laughs> Jesus Christ. I remember my dad used to leave me $5. He used to be like the For tooth fairy. one tooth? Yeah, bro. Holy fuck. That's yeah. a rich ass tooth fairy. I'll Facts. I used to try to pull them out on purpose. I used to have to remind my mom the tooth fairy ain't fucking come. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, I left it, dog. It's, just, it's still there and I don't have a quarter, dog. Man. Where's my quarter? <laughs> for real. Nah, for real. So I get a quarter. Five dollars. Holy shit. Nah. I needed to move into your house. I didn't realize how important like saving change was until like you're older. Because like you know you get that big ass jar. And yeah. You, and then rainy days, end, man. Yeah. Saving shit for rainy days is always essential, dog. It literally just goes to homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking goddamn red light after a fucking exit ramp on the highway. In Florida, at least, fucking hell. Yeah, bro, it's getting weird. Like it's bad now. Like it is bad right now. It's getting worse. It's bad in Jacks. So yeah, bad. bro. Really? How yeah, much? Jacksonville how, how much is it in Jacksonville? For how much? Like a toll, like per car. Right? That's, is that what you're talking about? No, I'm talking about homeless people. Yeah, like the homeless money. population going like, up oh, on the okay. exit ramps and shit on the highway. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah it's like all over Jacks. That's crazy. So yeah, bro. Like, Orlando yeah, too, man. Here, Orlando's like getting bad, man. Like. I feel I feel for for people that are in that situation, man. But you gotta get yourself out of that shit too, you gotta bro. Do something, bro. Yeah, like you gotta get the grind and gotta figure do something, something out. Something for real, like don't accept that shit, man. Nah, for real. Yeah, you do have to be careful, though, man. It's really fucked up. A lot of those people make up to like forty bucks an hour, just chilling there on the side of the road. So while really? it's like, oh fuck yeah, think about it. A hundred cars get off on that exit. Mm. And 40 of them give something. Some people give more than a buck. Some people give 25 cents on average. They're going to get like 40 bucks on a good hour chilling there. If they stay there for three hours, they're going to make like, what, 120 bucks just for chilling out there a few hours. Some people do that. Right. And then, you know, fuck off to their home. They're not like, a lot of people. bro, I look at them I'm like, you look clean as fuck, dude. Like, you yeah, look for pretty. real, dude. <laughs> this is weird. You're a pretty homeless guy. <laughs> That's, that's too weird. Like, nah, bitch. Like, those shoes are nice. You could sell your shoes before you fucking have to beg for money. Right. Like, go eat some dicks. Like, <laughs> I've been, like, totally fucking broke before. Like, I know. Bro, I facts. I've facts. been making it up from nothing, but, you know, we're kind of running out of time here. Yeah, um, bro. We get in a good conversation fast. every fucking time, but we appreciate everybody that's been rocking, liking, subscribing. Don't forget to thumbs up and like the video. We appreciate you guys. And thumbs up. We appreciate fucking Sway for coming Yee -yee. through. So, salute, Facts. guys. We're out. Cheers. Peace. Woo-woo.